Hi, this is Chef and Builder Janie Pendleton. We are back for part four of how to build a slip form wall. So what we're doing here is we've got this second half here built of the stone. And we just have two more sections of this wall, the bottom and the top wall of this here to stone. And then here we'll just have this archway right here. Now right here, because the pond is going to be sitting here, like we showed you in, in part one, we'll put that video right here, part one, right there. Again, this is part four. And what we're doing here is this is the drainage. You want to make sure everything, everything from the house here slopes down this way and down this way. And what we're going to do is we're just going to take pea gravel and we're just going to lift this drainage up. This is a perforated drain. And we put the sleeve socks on here to keep the debris and the, and the mud out. And we put a Y on here, or you can tee it, but a Y is what we had, and we're just going to run a short piece here, a short piece here, and we came down here, this is our water pipe to the drain plug to the pond, so we'll be able to drain, just pull the plug and drain the pond right out here into our uh, drainage system, and we just put on a flat landscape style drainage uh, system from here, the kind that you would put on the downspouts on a house. And we did this because we want everything to slope down and on out into the city drainage ditch out here. Okay? And that's where we're at. We've taped everything up. And uh, I even taped the sleeves on so that they didn't fall off while we were doing the rock construction. I'm going to stand back here at a different angle and let you see this. Okay? Now here's this wall here. We got the electrical done. We got this wall built and um, we're building under a tent today from the sun but we're really having nice July temperatures. I've, I've ne personally have never seen a July like this. I'm almost 50 years old and I've never seen a July like this. Um, it's been absolutely beautiful. We've been in the 70s for most of the month and this is the 18th of July 2014 but I want to show you some of the some of the sea glass, some of the stones. Look at the seashell on that one. Isn't that just beautiful? And if you have a flaw or anything you need to hide or you miss a spot, just add a seashell. But it looks really good, really happy with it. And then right here is going to be this three stone high arch. And then we're gonna bring in some brick or some stone and go right over the top of that arch and right over. So that's where we're at. I'll show this to you at a different angle. There we go. And again, you'll be able to see where this arch is going to come in right here with our gate. And here's another view of it. You can see where we just laid that on. This one's still drawing, but you can see it'll start to be that color. It takes about 30 days for it to cure. Here's my keystones that I've picked out of the rocks that will go on the archway. You'll have to make your own washers or valves or seals for whatever kind of plug you want to do for your pond. If you want a plug like this, you'll have to unscrew it. Um, and then you'll have to glue it to your pipe. That can be an issue. And I decided against that one for this one that's just a valve that you turn. So you can actually open it and close it. This end screws on, but as it goes through um, the pond, You've got to have a valve, or you can cut your own, or you can buy this type of uh, valve. I have a piece of metal, the valve itself. The pond, will, the, will the metal, is it galvanized? Will that rust and go away? I can, or? I'm going to paint it. Even if you didn't, I wanted something that would uh, firm it up. And other than painting it, I don't really have an option. Okay. Um, there's not too many options. Well, well, really, I mean, really, the seal itself, that's going to be on the bottom side of the pond, correct? So the pond would have to leak for that to get wet anyway. Yeah, so you have this to add pressure to it. So when this is glued to your pipe, this will push back, and then this will push against the pond. Okay. And um, Are you going to use the putty in there as well? N like well, you would I've, for a sink? Like when you're putting like a drain plug like in a sink? Well, you can use that uh, tape. I've got some tape to use. Okay. The tape that you use for this is not... It's a tape that seals uh, your your joints here. It makes The them, white tape. Yeah, the Together. white tape. Yeah. So this is on the outside of your pond. This little piece of metal will push it toward the outside. 
and that will give uh, as watertight seal as you can. Then uh, you'll have this on the inside and this pushing against it and then you'll tighten this up and your pond. So this is inside the pond right here so we can reach down inside the pond water and just yeah, open and shut the valve. You'll be able to open and shut the valve. Okay, I see. Yeah, that seemed so to be a little bit better than a plug, yes. Better than a plug because you have to get down there in the water. Can you turn this and let me see inside that? Sure. See my fingers here? Okay, now give it a slow turn. There you go. This is on the outside of your pond. Your pond liner is going to be here, mm -hmm. like this. And then these two seals, you see how those lip and feel, seal together? Mm -hmm. That's going to be on the outside of your pond. Then this is on the inside. It's going to be painted so it won't rust out. And then this is all going to screw together. Okay. And it'll give a nice tight fit. Uh, so this is on the bottom of the pond here with a metal. Outside of the pond, yeah. So metal washer, let's see this right, metal washer, galvanized actually, rubber lip, then the pond will be in here, yeah. then you'll have this one, and you'll have another metal washer, and then the pond will be right here in between, right there, Yes. Mm -hmm. and then that will put pressure on it together like that right there, that'll keep it from leaking, plus we'll probably use the white tape, the plumber's tape, and then plus we can probably use some sort of plumber's dough or something in there. Yeah. The other option is you'd have to reach into the pond and you'd have to unscrew something like this. Um, Can I see that? Yeah. Yeah, it's just some sort of a drain plug. To me, this was much better. 